Welcome to River City Live. Now, we've got a ton of local love coming your way today. We're starting in the kitchen with the true love of my life. Now, I do love me some Jana, but food is where my heart lies. Sorry, Jana. That is okay. Now, Rant, listen, if you want to really melt someone's heart tomorrow, we have a cheesy, surefire solution here with Erica Loveless sharing her DIY fondue for two. Now, Erica, oh, this studio smells amazing <laughs> this morning. I mean, what better way to say I love you than with melted cheese? Come on, we can't get better than that. Absolutely. And, you know, for my husband and I, we really just don't like going out for Valentine's Day. We find it's too crowded and usually they're serving some kind of prefix menu. So I prefer to just do something at home that's super simple like fondue. Absolutely, okay, so give us the basics. Show me like what is a great way to put a fondue together. Cause yep. sometimes like it's not, it's not just about melting the cheese in the microwave safe bowl. We've all learned that the hard yes. way. You've really done this really perfectly. Well, thank you. So this is actually more like a Swiss fondue setup. So what I've got are two kinds of cheeses and I've got a little bit of wine going here um, on this first pan. So I've got Emmentalier and I've also got a baby Swiss. So if you want something a little bit more mild and then the key is really just to mix these two cheeses together with the wine and I also add a little bit of sherry. Love it. Gives it a little <laughs> bit more of a kick. It's Valentine's Day. Listen, let's do Why it. Why <laughs> not? Why not? And then one of the things that I like to add to prevent the cheeses from actually sticking together when they're melting is adding a little bit of cornstarch. So the cornstarch okay. okay. not only prevents the sauce from kind of breaking, but it also makes the cheese melt more smoothly. Okay. And about how much do you need? So we've got about 400 grams each of the Emmentalier and the Baby Swiss. And then for the uh, cornstarch, we're using about four teaspoons. Okay. Cool, easy enough. I'm like, see, I can do this, I can do this. <laughs> Absolutely. So this cheese is not really melting as quickly as I want it, but I've actually got... That's why we have TV magic, and look at this and just cheesy like goodness that. over there. And just like that. So this is actually the finished fondue. Again, both kinds of cheeses, using that cornstarch base, um, and then seasoned at the end with a little bit of garlic powder, as well as paprika. So it's got a little bit of a kick. It's not more like a traditional Swiss fondue in that way. No, I think that's fantastic. And now I want to kind of like bring our direction over here to yeah. how you plated this really beautifully. Now I was watching you set this up and I was like, oh, this is actually pretty simple because sometimes things like this seem a little intimidating for me because they look so great, but you put this together pretty simply just right before the show. And that's why I love doing fondue for Valentine's Day. Really, you're going to actually spend more time prepping everything than right. you are actually melting the cheese. Um, so for today, I've got a few different options for you guys. Okay. I've got some bread, some boiled potatoes, um, some steamed broccoli and cherry tomatoes. And of course, like any fondue, you can't not serve cornichon. That is super key and super traditional. Um, and if you want a little meat option, I'm using a cured sausage today. So, um, and I've also got a couple different wines. Yes, absolutely. Now, when we a River City Live segment, we didn't have a beautiful wine pairing. So what do you recommend with a fondue? Like you said, we have a little bit of a Swiss blend. So what are you selecting today? So actually all of these wines I bought from Publix. So if you want to find a great wine to pair with this, I recommend a dry Riesling from Oregon or California. Okay. And if you don't have access to that, this is a type of light bodied red wine from France called Beaujolais, also available at Publix, super easy to get. Um, and you know, if you really want to cheat a little bit, they do have pre-made fondue kits at Publix. So it comes together even faster if you're looking to do something in a pinch. Easy, easy. Okay, well, I say, like, let's pl plate it up Absolutely. and get it. Vaughn, in a few minutes, I'll let you put this camera down and I'll share with you how about that. Now, this, I love this setup. Um, it looks like you just have a little baby sterno here, and then it just goes over a microwave bowl. Absolutely. So I'm bringing, I'm going to bring the cheese over to you guys, and then we can serve it up with a little bit of wine. And you've got your forks over there, got so it. Yeah, feel free to give it a dip. These are so fun. Okay, all right. I'm, I'm going to go carb first. I'm just going. Oh, absolutely. You I'm have going. To. I'm going full the... potato. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. And really, this comes together seriously in less than 30 minutes. I know, this is super easy. And I love the fact that it gives you kind of something to to do. I mean, yeah, it's a little activity. Stare into each other's eyes. Great for Palantines or Galantines. Yeah, you really can't be on your phone when you're doing this. Mm -mm. Holy mackerel, that's so good. It's so good. This is phenomenal. Okay, Rance, we're going to pour up a little bit of wine over here. It's Valentine's Day, so I'm going to share, but I don't want to, but I will. <laughs> only for you. <laughs> only for you, only for you. All right, we're gonna keep eating. You tell me who you've got over there with you, Rand. 